Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Epi, and welcome back to Mario and Sonic Revenge of the Deadly Six. You guys really, really enjoyed the first episode, and I myself enjoyed it too, and I had a lot of fun editing it, and I'm really excited to make episode two of this game, so let's go! So, where we left off, we, um, Sonic fainted, as you guys saw in the last video. Sonic? What? Sonic? Oh my god. Oh, mamma mia! Sonic! Yeah. That was so weird. Where am I? What happened last night? <laughs> right off the bat, a laugh. <laughs> you look at his face. What the heck? Gave everybody a scare, Sonic. Even me. What happened? I saw something at the opening ceremony that brought back awful memories. Did you see Mephilus the Dark? Oh yeah, uh, the guy, uh, the guy that, um, the, the shadow rip off? Oh yeah, that guy? Right, okay, cool. No, worse. People who tried to kill you in the past. Saz and Savok, the Zeddy. What? I'm not kidding. I saw Saz and Savok at the opening ceremonies. I was not hallucinating. I thought I destroyed them on the last hex. My guess is they probably escaped. I'm pretty sure Zaz is the only one who escaped. Ha how do you know that? But someone used some dark power to bring some Savik back. How do you even know that too? I mean, Savik wouldn't have escaped after I dropped him into a pool of lava, but the point is they're back. Huh? When I saw them, there, my heart began racing. I was sweating like crazy. I was shivering and I... So you were shivering and sweating at the same time. Okay. And I felt like I was going to throw up all over the stage. But are you okay now? Are you well enough to compete in any events today? Yeah, I'm fine. I just need some breakfast and I need to go talk to Mario. Just be careful, Sonic. If they have an evil plan, please inform me. I want to know everything. Okay, Sonic! Got it, Sonic! Alright, so, um, can I talk to Sonic again? Be careful out there, Sonic. Oh, I always am, Sonic. I still hate that name, by the way. Alright, so, um, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Uh, there's the door, and... Alright, so where am I supposed to go? Hi, Toad! Oh, I'm sorry, buddy! I got nothing! Oh, wait. I got nothing for you at the moment! You might want to come back later! Why me? Oh, well, look at this convenient-looking door. I wonder where that's supposed to... Why? Why? Luigi, what are you doing? Hey, Luigi. Hi, Sonic. I saw you passed out on... Oh, I saw you passed out on stage last night, and I wanted to see if you're doing okay. I'm doing fine now. What are you up to? I'm just training for boxing today. Oh, yeah. He's fighting Tails, I believe. Hey, Knuckles. How you doing, Knuckles? Hey, Knucklehead. Hey, Sonic. How are you feeling? Better, and how are you doing? Just getting ready for boxing later today. I figured. Anyway, have you seen Mario? He's over there training for the Olympics. Wait, did, the, what, did I just see a typo right there? Yeah, I definitely did. Thanks, Knuckles. No problem. <laughs> that, that picture's ridiculous. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, buddy. Hey, Sonic. God dang it. <laughs> that picture, I can't. <laughs> ah. What do you think of Rio so far? It's amazing. I already love it here. It's here. Yeah. Goodbye, Tails, with your weird mind stuff. Hi, Mario. Sonic, are you doing okay? You had me really worried the last night. I'm fine now. I can just forget. I just forgot to eat dinner last night. Can I? Can't go on stage. Can't go on stage with an empty stomach. Am I right? Uh, yes. Mario, there's something I need to talk to you about. How about the last night? Yeah. English, please? But you said that you forgot to eat dinner. I did, but that's not the point. I think the whole world is in danger. What do you mean Bowser and Eggman have always been with these Olympics since Beijing? I don't mean Bowser and Eggman, I mean a much bigger threat. And it makes it sound like Bowser and Eggman are just a joke. I'll talk to you after the event today. Don't want to miss out on the boxing, do we? Right. Play next cutscene. <sighs> Come here to participate in the Olympic Games this year. <laughs> what else are you two heads <laughs> oh, planning on destroying the city, taking Sean and Cox, <laughs> killing everyone I care about? Um, no! When you say um like that, it usually means you're hiding something. Tell me what you're planning, you sick, twisted son of a. B
We told you, we're here for the Olympics. Bullsh**! Where are your other friends? Dead, all thanks to you. Good thing I escaped from the wash acts after that disaster took- Good job, Zaz. Also, I liked your video. The one with Eggman throwing a temper tantrum, he deserved it. He sure did, after controlling us with that conch. But that's not what I'm talking about. I meant the other video, with you vomiting. Uh, oh god, I think I'm gonna be sick. Sonic? <laughs> <laughs> they actually... They actually... Sonic, are you gonna be okay? I just vomited all over the ground. You call that okay? Yeah. Ew. Don't, don't, don't. Really? You're still throwing up? Like Sonic, okay. I'm pretty sure that's enough. Here, let me take yeah. it. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I love Sonic, this I'm game. recreate that one scene from Team America World <gasps> I just puke for days. Are you done puking? Yes! Ha ha ha. Very funny. That video was disgusting. Just like you. Also, how the flying f did you find that video? I thought I had Eggman take that video down last year. Zaz managed to download a file of that video before you had Eggman take it down. And we were watching it on our way over here. And it's on our little flash drive right here. What? Curse I'm sorry, what? The flash drive cost us a fortune. Where did he? Okay. Get my hands on you, Sonic. Guys, uh, the events are Where the fuck did Sonic get a gun? You in hell, Zaz. Same with you, Zavik. All right, so Sonic had a gun all of a sudden. That was pretty good. And I'm walking on the table all of a sudden. That's pretty good to see. I'm just watching a movie on my laptop. Well, can you at least tell me what the movie is, Sonic? No. All right, bye, sucker. Sonic, I'm going out. Where are you going? I'm gonna go talk to Mario. All right, don't be gone too long. Yeah, I definitely will. Oh my god. Mars room should be at the end of this hall. What about this one? Tails' room, I better not bug him. Okay, how about this room? This Knuckles' room? Or should I call him Jackass the again? <laughs> okay. This is Bowser's room. It's also Bowser Bowser Jr.'s room. He always tells me I need to buzz off. Good! This is Diddy's room. This is Diddy's room and also DK's room. They've been my pals for a while. Yay! This is Shadow's room. He might be busy. Yeah, he always might be busy. How many rooms are there, by the way? I better be careful when I walk by here. This is Silver's room. This is Cory and Spark. Who in the heck is Cory and Sparks? Ah, oh, this is Mario's room. Here's Mario's room. God! It took forever. Hey, Mario. I saw the good right the end. I'm, I'm already in the room, uh, Mario. Thanks, Mario. So tell me, Sonic, about those guys, Sass and Savok. Are they, <laughs> are they the reason you passed out last night at the opening ceremonies? More or less, they're both members of a group of Zeti. What's a Zeti? Is it some sort of a delicious pasta dish? <laughs> like a cross between Zeti and Spaghetti? <laughs> Sonic said the same thing to me, but no. Zeti is not a pasta dish. Zeti are a group of powerful extraterrestrials who or originate from a land called the Lost Hex. They are ugly and vile, and they're super powerful. Me and Tails arrived on the Lost Hex after an encounter with Eggman, and we ran into a group of Zeti called the Deadly Six. That's a nice image. The Deadly Six consists of Zavik, one of the guys we encountered today. He was the red Zeti that has the light blue hair. He's their leader. He's also Master Zick, the founder and trainer. Zor, the the spy. And also emo, depressing looking type of guy, you know what I'm saying? Zomop, the gluttonous and morbidly obese. Xena, the only female member, because why the heck not? And Zaz, the other one that you and I encountered today, the light purplish one. Where are the others, Eddie? I destroyed them, but Zaz must have escaped, and somebody used our powers to bring Zavik back to life. I would get to the bottom of this. The Deadly Six tried to drain planet Earth of all its life by come come in. <laughs> One of Eggman's machines, the extractor. That machine was done. Can I speak, please? The Earth's energy and to destroy all life on planet Earth. Oh, so that's why all the trees and peaches garden died, and the sky went gray that one time. You saw everything, didn't you? Plants and animals dying all around you. Yes, that is how powerful the Deadly Six are. They tried to kill Amy, Knuckles, and Sonic, and they tried to turn Tails into a robot. I eventually destroyed the Deadly Six and saved Shonic, but now they're back, at least Sass and Savakar. 
What if they're looking for a way to bring back the other members of the Deadly Six? The same way that Zavok was brought back to life. If they do, the Rio de Janeiro will be in danger! Not only that, but the whole world as well. I will let them kill you, Mario. You're too important for me to die. But now is the time for panicking. People in this hotel are already asleep. We need to stop Saz and Zavok from bringing the other six back to life. Uh, just make sure, Sonic, that you don't get your blood lost because that's what Mephilus wants. Find Sonic. Bring him to me alive. With the hedgehog's blood. With the hedgehog's blood. With the hedgehog's blood. With the hedgehog's blood. Be careful. How are we going to do that? After tomorrow's events, meet me at the Christ. The Redeemer statue. Sonic will be there too. Okay. And the others said he do come back to life. I will not fight them alone. I have a feeling that they'll be twice as powerful than the last time I faced them. I will stand by your side no matter what, Sonic. And as I said, Captain America, the Winter Soldier, I'm with you till the end of the line. That's a great quote. One of my favorite quotes of from Captain America, the Winter Soldier. But yes, it is true. I will stand by your side until the end of the line. And besides, it's not called Sonic at the Olympic Games. Well, thank God. I'm actually happy about that. Right, they're all about the two of us. With our combined powers, we will take the city down. But first, we need to see what Sass and Savak are up to after tomorrow's events. The next day! More cutscenes? Nope. I better get this a statue. Mars should meet me there. Alright. Alright, Sonic, run so fast. Alright, so where the heck is Mario? This is pretty much a long pathway. I have no idea where I'm even going. Or, uh, no, is this a loop? Oh. Oh my god. What even is that? Hey, I can walk on the statue! That's so awesome! And weird. But okay, never mind continuing. Sorry I'm late. I wanted to try some of the food here. Tastes quite interesting. Where's Sonic? He was supposed to be here. I don't know what's taking him so long. I'm going to give him a call. Play next cutscene. Oh boy, here we go again. <laughs> really? Ah, this bar treatment was nice and relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is this game? Hello, Sonic's the name. Shine's my game. Sonic, where the f are you? Oh, Sonic. I figured that since I had some free time, I'd spend some time Sonic at the spa. The thing. You were supposed to be rendezvousing with me and Mario at the Christ of the Demon statue. Did you forget? I was gonna go over there after my spa treatment. Just don't run over here in your bathrobe and spa slippers. How much longer is your treatment gonna be? 20 minutes. Oh, right. I forgot how long spa treatments are. But as soon as you're done, and your cucumber face mask dries off, face how do you know what kind of treatment I'm getting next? Duh, most spas do that kind of thing. But I had the most relaxing massage and hot rock treatment. Oh, Nobody geez. gives three f**ks about your trip to the spa. <laughs> you up and get your ass over here. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> He'll be a while, Mario. Figured. So what do you want to do now for the next 20 minutes? <laughs> I brought a chessboard. A game of chess usually lasts 20 oh, minutes. Oh, I love chess. That's good to work. 20 minutes later. Still hasn't come, hasn't he? Checkmate! Nice game, Mario. You Ooh. literally had my queen cornered. Well, that's how chess works, Sonic. <laughs> really? Sonic, are you coming or not? Took you long enough, Sonic. Sorry, Sonic. I didn't realize how long spa treatments would be. Well, now that you're here, let's go over the plan. Did you bring the Rubik's Cube? I have it right here. <laughs> a Rubik's Cube? A Rubik's Cube that activates different features. The green side will help us locate Jazz and Javik. You okay over there? And if I just type in his name, G A G G. No, I don't want Zaz Pizza Joint or Zaz Strip Club. They have strip clubs named after Zeddy. <laughs> I bet Zena was fired from a strip club for being ugly. Sorry, this thing still has a few bugs in it. Let me try this again. G Please do. A G G. I think we have a reading. Well, what does it say? I think they're hiding out in a dark alley. That must be where they go every day in Rio. Now, guys, don't subdue Zaz and Zavik. We must keep a low profile. They must not know that we're watching them. Also, when we get there, be extra quiet. Okay. Right. Our best bet is spying on them through the rooftops. The green side of the Ruby's Cube is also a perfect tool to use for eavesdropping. So that way, 
if they're working with somebody, we can listen in on what they're actually planning. What? Right, so how are we going to get onto the roof atop, sir? The blue side of the Rubik's Cube activates a grappling hook. We'll run along the rooftops and try to look for that alley that Zaz and Zavik are hiding in. It'll be less conspicuous than running through the streets. I hope you know parkour, Mario. Of course I do. How do you think I get through a typical level of Super Mario Brothers or Super Mario 3D World? I've been practicing more of my parkour since I learned to climb walls and run along them on the Lost Hex. Besides, I'm excellent at gymnastics. The ability to do a backflip doesn't guarantee you being great at parkour. I mean, running along rooftops and jumping over ledges while doing a flip? I've done that a million times, Mario, so this should be a piece of cake for me. Right, let's go find the Zaz and the Zavik and see what they're up to. Yeah! Let's go! Let's do that. So we better hurry to the dark alley. That was the weirdest cutscene of my life. Well, this is actually seemingly taking a while. Like, I've been walking for like, um, one minute straight now, and I have no idea where I'm even supposed to go. Hello? All right, there we go. God dang it, finally, it took me forever. Oh my God, I've been looking for this place for hours. Oh my God, I'm over dramatizing now. Ah, this is the dark alley. <sighs> this alley behind the balling factory could be a good place to start. Not a lot of people come to this area, and it's nice and inconspicuous. <laughs> <laughs> Since you're probably going to be using the grappling hook a lot, and we're looking for Zaz and Zavik, and none of the features will work when two sides are solved at once, how do you expect us to succeed? Oh, right. I completely forgot about that. But not to worry. There's an app on my 3DS that works just like the green side of the cube. There's no such thing! Invent a second Rubik's Cube. I only made one Rubik's Cube, but we can figure this out. <laughs> I love it, that drawing so much. Um. Oh, well, good job. Grab on, everybody. You all know your assignments, right? Right. Rendezvous at the rooftop over to where Zaz and Zavik are hiding and make sure they don't see us. All six sides were activated on that picture. You guys saw it was supposed to self-destruct. We want to meet right at this yellow dot. Keep your radar scanners on. We don't want to get separated. That's the last thing we want. Good job. Good job, Shonic. I know, right? Oh, that oh, that's oh, that's that's nice. Uh oh, that's so nice. This game is just mostly filled with cutscenes instead of gameplay, like I just mentioned in my last video. Those sprites are so ridiculous. Oh, what the heck? Okay, guys, keep extra quiet. Hey! Okay. Why haven't you brought me the hedgehog? It's not that easy to catch. He's fast and clever. Mephilus, if you want the job done, you gotta do it yourself. You know? And he probably knows what we're... Okay, I shouldn't do that. And he probably knows what we're planning right now. Tomorrow, bring the hedgehog to me, and with this blood... You will see your other friends again, and this city will crumble to a pile of ash. Very good, Master Mephilus Master. I like the sound of that. Now go, Zaz and Zavok, and do not fail me next time. So they're working for somebody. Did I just hear Zavok say Mephilus? I think so. No, this can't be happening. He can't be real. Sonic, what is it? The man who- <laughs> Oh, he's a man? Oh, I thought that was a hedgehog. No, it's just a man in disguise. That's a man in a hedgehog suit. Oh my god. Mephilus the dog. He's real and Zaz and Zavok are working for him. Let's get out of here. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> let's get the hay out of here because why not? Now that we know who's the, now, the, the real villain behind all this, we have to tell everyone about this. What the hell? It's locked. Recommend you watch. Well, of course, I will watch it, so why the heck not? Wow, 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 there's a sign in his <laughs> I, I love this guy. Guys, look, I'll hold him off. It's too late now. We have you where we want you. It was all part of Smart. the plan. So you lured us into a trap. 
I guess you could say that. We were expecting eavesdroppers on the rooftops. After we report to Mephilus, we would make sure we check the rooftops for eavesdroppers. So Mephilus is real, and you're working for him! Here's my only chance of stopping the other members of my posse, and he beats your blood to do so! Over my dead body! Wait, think of you say that! Mm. Oh. Sonic! Take the others to the holding. Really? It was that, that easy? Way, they won't hear Sonic screams of pain. No! Sonic! <laughs> what, 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 where the hell am I? We meet again, Iblis Trigger. Mephilus the Dark. I see that you haven't forgotten about me after all, huh? Don't bother trying to struggle. You won't be getting out there. I game. thought you said you'd never seen your face you before. You've never seen me before, Sonic. You killed me! Yes, I did. You might see them as bad what? dreams, but they are reality when I kill you that time. It wasn't personal. I only need- Mephilus' voice actor is not great. ...plan to be hatched. She was the vessel of, for storing the flames of Iblis. And the only way for me to get what I wanted was for her to become filled with grief. And despair that she would cry. So you chose killing me over, I don't know, taking away Elise's Barbie dolls when she was a little girl and setting I'm, them I'm sorry, fire? what? Your friendship with the princess. Her name is Elise! Whatever. You two were very close. That's a pretty scary picture, by the way. Vintage. Again, killing you wasn't personal. But now, you and I are face to face. I shall kill you again because I want to. And this you time, want to? your death will be permanent. Let me out of here. Not a chance. Where are Sonic and Mario? Sitting in a cell. Sitting awaiting in a cell. your execution. Okay. No, I can't leave them. Sonic, stop being slapped. Your You're easily slappable. They're useless. Don't you ever talk about Mario like that, you huge crystallized prick. And your annoying brother, what's his name? Sonic. That's a stupid name. It's like exactly. a of a hat. Shut the f*** up, Mephilus! That's Jesus. my brother you're talking about! Insult me again, and I will hurt you even more. Go f*** yourself. Keep talking, Hedgehog. What exactly was it doing there? get worse. Torture me all you want, Mephilus. What do you want from me anyways? Your blood, so I can bring the Deadly Six back from the dead, and so they can help me decimate this planet and all its inhabitants. I knew it! You were planning on bringing the Deadly Six back to life, just like how you revived Zavik! Indeed I did, Sonic. You know, for an annoying hedgehog, you're really smart. Also, I've been looking for you for a long time, and now here you are. If you want to kill me, then do it! Oh, I'm not going to kill you, Sonic. At least, not right this second. But the princess That's like of one thing you'll regret. Be there to kiss you back to life. She's dead. I kill her. Elise isn't real. You didn't kill me. It was all a bad dream and a load of bull. <laughs> well, I don't think so. But those events actually happened. After the princess blew out the flames of Solaris, Solaris was no more. But the sector of darkness remained. Your friend Zaz found a sector in a dark corner of the world and revived me. I returned to Soliana and killed the princess. And as you guess already. It was I who brought Zavik back from the dead. So you're basically a twisted, f***ed up genie in a bottle for Zaz? Silence! Ah! 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 The more you insult me, the deeper the poison dagger will go. Poison dagger? P poison dagger? Oh, don't worry. The poison hasn't kicked in yet. Just give it a couple of hours. Is this your favorite form of execution? Slow and painful deaths? More or less. And as soon as you're dead, we'll deal with your friends next. You will not lay a finger on my brother or my best friend, you f***ing psychopath! Ow! Perfect. Just what I need to revive the other Zeddy. Oh, I really hope Sonic and Maru can get me out of here before the poison kicks <laughs> in. I really don't want to die a second I'm time so by the hands of Mephilus. Sorry I'm laughing at this. What do we do, Sonic? Sonic could be a dying. Don't worry, Mario. I have a plan. Your brother is probably already dying right now. And there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, yeah? 
I emptied your pockets, so there's no way you can escape! I even took away your Rubik's Cube! No! No! <laughs> Rubik's Cube! I've been playing with that to toes a little hoglet! What the fuck? The toys! Oh. Well, so bad, crybaby! Actually, for years, I've been having a bit of trouble. <laughs> I love this Could game. You help me out with it. I truly appreciate it. I've never played with a Rubik's Cube before, so I suppose. The side that I'm having the most trouble with is the white side. Would you be a good little Zeddy and solve that side for me? <gasps> Son, yes. Are you? Do you still have that mask that I gave you? Yes, it's in my pocket. Put it on. I thought he said he ends in your pocket. Okay. The mask will protect us from the stun gas. What? Where did you get those masks? We were dressing up for the local festival, and we thought masks would be a nice touch for our costumes. Plus, we wanted to protect ourselves from the Zika virus. Now, Zika virus. The white side. I think. Well, good job. Whatever you do, Mario, don't take that mask off until I tell you to. Okay, they're not. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's hilarious. All right, guys, I'm going to end off this video here. This was a pretty long video, and I hope you guys enjoyed part two of Mario and Sonic Revenge of the Deadly Six. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a like to show your support. And if you guys want this game for yourselves, link in the description down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future content. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care.